All right, guys, we've got another knife from Professor EDC. This is the Civivi KIV Plus. It's made by Civivi. And when you get stuff from Civivi, it comes in this cardboard box. Here's the part number if you really need. Um, comes in a padded zippered pouch. And then you get some stuff. You get some stickers. You get a microfiber. And you get some paperwork. So kind of cool. I do enjoy or I do appreciate the packaging you get. Even in a $67 knife. That's right. $67 from Knife Center. But you still get this cool, eh, and it's not super cool packaging, but it's nice. It's it's better than what you get from a lot of much more expensive knives. Like the Demco AD20, 600-ish dollar knife, you get just a cardboard box. You right? I've done the Strider Medford AR.75, and that literally came in a Ziploc bag. And it was like seven something. So for 67 bucks, they give you a padded zipper case. How can you go wrong? All right, so let's talk about this knife. Uh, it's an odd one. I'm not going to lie. It's a front flipper, which is kind of odd, the way the front flipper is. This is a Ostap Hail design. Heil design. Um, like legit, I'm ch I have not really mastered the front flip of this knife since I've had it. There you go. Every once in a while, I can get it first try without a lot of wrist. It doesn't really work this way either. So it's, it's an odd one to me. And then you look at the overall shape. And it's equally odd. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's zoom in. You know, I don't like to talk bad about knives, but I'm also never going to be that everything is positive and everything is wonderful, and this is the greatest knife to come hit the market ever. I'm not that guy. G10 with a twill carbon fiber overlay. Uh, it's maybe like a sticker. I don't really know how that is. I do kind of like the way that it's basket weave here and it kind of tapers off. Like that's, that's kind of cool. I like the blacked out hardware, the blacked out blade. The pocket clip actually works really well because they used countersunk hardware. The pocket clip is pretty small. I, I, I enjoy that. A little bit of marking on the blade. It is Nitro V. O-step, Heil design. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's a Warncliffe blade that's kind of angled odd to me that doesn't really flip well. It's, it's just awkward. And maybe it's just me. I have not gone and searched YouTube for other people's videos because I don't do that. It's just, I guess it, it keeps your hand out of the way of the cutting material. Sure. But to me, it's odd. It doesn't flip well. So for that reason alone, I'm out. The lock bar access is okay. If you've got big fat finger, you may have some trouble with that because there is a little bit of a cutout, but it's not a lot. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I'm not sold on this one. So it's three and five eighths close, six inches overall. 2.6 inch blade of Nitro V. Uh, 0.013 behind the edge and the blade thickness is 0.101. So it's super thin, super slicey. It's going to get the job done. And it's super light at 2.2 ounces, right? So if you're going for lightweight, for me, that would be a VC Edge interface which I do not have here to show you because those are shipped off to G Mr. Jim Skelton, who's doing videos on them shortly. Then you're under two ounces. Yeah, you're a lot more money though. Base model ones are like 950. This is 67. 
but you get a lot more knife out of that one. It opens every time. This does run on ceramic wash, ceramic bearings, ceramic washers. I wonder, is that a thing? I swear, guys, I'm not trying to fail the flip. Um, overall thickness is 0.48, 458. So now I'm just getting, now it's just, I'm getting tired with it. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, what can I say, guys? It's small. It fits in the pocket really well. It's an odd and awkward blade shape for me, and it is awkward to flip. I am sure that if I spent a lot more time with it, I would be able to be proficient at the flip, maybe, because I'm really not that proficient with spidey flicking most knives or reverse flicking them or finger flicking them, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know that I would be proficient with this one. It's an odd one. Uh, maybe that's why Professor EDC bought it, so that he could review an odd knife. I know that's a thing. We do that from time to time. I've been using the Skaha V2 to do some unboxings. That's why the blade is a little bit odd, uh, a little bit dirty. But this thing opens every time. I don't have another front flipper in front of me to show you. Front flipping is not my favorite in the first place. But when it's awkward to front flip, it makes it worse for me. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear if anybody has one of these and what your real experience of using it and carrying it for extended time is because that's what YouTube's all about. Don't just take my opinion on something. Like, I don't want that to be the case. I am just an average guy giving my opinion on the item in front of me. And yes, I may tell you this is a great thing, and I may tell you it sucks, but it's ultimately up to you because those are just my opinions and my thoughts on whatever the item is. Just because something doesn't work in my hand doesn't mean it won't work in yours. So always take every YouTuber's opinion with a grain or two of salt and watch other people and get a consensus of three or four people's opinion and then formulate your own. Don't just watch one guy and think he's all Mr. Hype about something and then go buy it. Although I did do exactly that when I watched Jim Skelton's video on this particular knife. Damn you, Jim. But don't, don't do what I do. You do you, but do as I say, not as I do. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.